Yo, what's up, man? Tell you what's happening by myself today, except for this thing. Hmm. This you will recognise as my pristine Neostock Evo 6 which I've had since about July last year and I won through dream car giveaways. This car was literally my dream car. I say was, it still is my dream car. I love this car, I adore this car. This car is amazing. I never thought I'd ever own something like this which is why the next bit Guess a bit awkward. I'm gonna sell this car, man. As you might have gathered, I don't want to sell this car. I love this car. This car is perfect. This car is all I've ever wanted in a car. This would be my forever project if I could afford to keep this car. This isn't clickbait. This isn't for views. This isn't any of that nonsense and also in terms of Jordan and his I almost sold Neva and all that no 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 none of this is trickery this has to go the win Viking views isn't cheap you see right and all of the videos we put up are free for everyone to watch however they cost quite a bit of money for us to do and things like this cost a bit of money to maintain as well I know in the time I've had it people people like oh you've got a free car sort of had a free car I paid about 100 quid to win the car and I've put about six grand into it so far so, <laughs> it was free, but then it wasn't free, you know? But I'm not complaining, I'm just telling you facts, right? So, check it out. I don't want to sell this car. Whoever guessed this car is a very lucky individual, right? I'm going to take you all the way around the car now. I'm going to show you in and out, through it, up, down, all, of, all the rest of it, right? Somebody deserving needs to own this car. This isn't going to just anybody. Also, if you think you're going to rock up, and like mess with Viking views just to have a test drive. Oh, I used this petrol. Wait, see what happens if you try it out, right? Genuine, genuine inquiries only, all that sort of thing. Anyway, let me take you through this car. Looking a bit wet at the minute. Yes, I've just come from the smart car wash, that's why. Now, I haven't done anything to tart this car up for this video. Literally, I overed the floor mats and I put it through the smart wash in it. And when I say smart wash, I mean jet wash. There's no brushes or nothing on it. All touchless, right? Everybody's always in my film set when I'm working. Right, let's start from the front. So this is a 1999 Mitsubishi Evo 6. It's largely stock, as you can see. The bodywork is stock. The wheels, obviously not stock. The original wheels were like 20 odd years old. So they are aftermarket wheels, but I feel they suit the car nicely. There's no marks on them. I'm happy with the wheels. Naturally, you've got the red badge there. You've got the Brembo calipers. The brakes were rebuilt uh, a little while ago. Also, car benefits from a full underbody restoration at a cost of about 12 grand, and also a full respray in the factory Pyrenees black paint. And other than a couple of little marks here and there, because it is a car and it does get driven, and then a couple of marks here and there is pretty much flawless, I'll be honest with you. Another little bit there, I don't know exactly what that is, but something happened there. Wasn't me, put it that way. This is my Evo, right? This has been my pride and joy. You've seen other videos of this on the channel. Um, go back and have a look, there's a few there for you, right? <sighs> this car's got full service history. It's a UK grey import, which means it was officially imported back in the late 90s, early 90s, whatever it was. And since then, I've got tens of thousands of pounds worth of receipts for it. It's got a fresh MOT from July, I believe July, August, I Yeah, so you've still got about nine months MOT, eight, nine months MOT. The mileage on the car at the moment is that. That is today's mileage. And today, if you're wondering, is Halloween. What better way to celebrate than with a black on black Evo and a... So, let's get you inside this thing. 
Look at that. Stock AF. Still got the Momo wheel on it. Got the metal things on the pedals. Ignore the floor mats. They're in an absolute state, but they keep my feet off the floor in it. As I said, I haven't really done much to prepare this car, but over the floor mats and put it through the smart wash. But look, the seats. Yes. Even all four doors have got the cloth that goes with the Evo 6, the, the bluey cloth to go along with the blue and the blue and all of that sort of thing. All four doors have got the cloth on them. A lot of cars you see have just got the black plastic, which is what's underneath this. This one has got that. We've also got Evo 6 scuff plates all around. Not the cloth. There's the rear arches and the wheel. Yeah, the rear seat. There's a cobweb I left there just for you. I told you I didn't prep it. There we go, there's that. Interior wise. Right, let's get under the bonnet. And here we have the engine. We're about two car two years away from this car being able to be imported properly into the US as this is, as I say, a 99 car. Incidentally, the number plate T66 WRC, World Rally car, yeah, 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 that comes with this car, this is included, right? Now, the boost actuator has been upgraded, so that doesn't need doing. The air box is the factory air box. Can you believe it? There's no K&N stuff on you. Got a Casco brace here. Other than that, everything is pretty much as is, other than that cap there. Whether or not that's the stock radiator, I couldn't tell you, but I know the cap didn't come from factory. Look at this. My studio's getting busier by the minute. It's incredible, really, isn't it? But look, I'm going to give you a really slow little look through this now, right? Just so you can see all the bits you need to see. I ain't hiding anything. As you can see, I'm a YouTuber. I do this publicly, so why would I mess anybody around with a dodgy car? This car is awesome. Coming round to the boot, as you can see, there's nothing being messed around with in here. Evo 6, well, obviously, you've got the washer bottle under there, because you've got the, uh, the spray in the front, and your control fluid goes under there. Let's get the mat up. Oh, almost. Here we go. So, there's underneath, as you can see, dry, dusty, jack wheel, sat now. It's all going well, isn't it? Here's also up on screen uh, a photo of the underneath of the car. This was from last year. The only thing that's changed since then is I've had the oil changed and also, um, that's the word I'm looking for, fuel lines. I had the fuel lines replaced because when I picked the car up from Dream Car, they were leaking. I was thinking the petrol wasn't lasting very long. No, I was coming out the bottom of the car, that's why, but it's got all new fuel lines, AJ Retros, that's my Evo specialist that has looked after this car for me while I've had it. You've seen Alex on the channel before, but... Like I say, it's not clickbait, it's not for views. This car is for sale. You can own this car. I will put a link to something in the description. I don't know what yet. I'd, literally, this is all happening in real time, right? Um, if you need any more photos, video or anything of the car, want to come and see the car, Get in touch with me. I'll put an email address on the screen. Um, I wouldn't recommend you leaving random messages on random Viking accounts. Message me directly, that email address. Or if you know me, get in touch with me via direct message. But um, you could own one of the cleanest Evo 6s in the UK currently. reiterate I don't want to sell this car I have to sell this car on that subject though it doesn't mean I'm going to take £12 and a hand job I know what I've got all that sort of thing there's my evil I'll um, leave you with a little bit of sound of it running and uh, yeah till next time